Okay, so let's talk about a typical hospital experience. Let's say you turned 40 years old and the doctor says, hey, you know, it's time to uh, maybe get a colonoscopy. Now, you don't know, quite know what this procedure is, but your good buddies who are always willing to give you an extra thrill have explained the procedure in great detail. They want to put what, where, but anyway, you get talked into doing this, so you go through the days of prep, a day and a half of prep, which is a real thrill, a real party, and then the day of the procedure, you're so wound up, your wife isn't going to let you anywhere near a, a, a vehicle, so she drives you to the hospital. What's the first thing you encounter at the hospital? No, not that. The first thing you encounter at the hospital is no doggone parking. So your wife immediately takes up an orbit around the mothership looking for a parking space. You're running late for your sign-in time. You bail out. You run into the registration. You sign the uh, paperwork. Next thing you know, you're being whisked upstairs to a room that is absolutely cold enough to hang meat in. I mean, they're breaking icicles off the bed pans. I mean, it's freezing. They take off your clothes. They put you in a gown with your butt hanging out. Then they throw you in a bed. Then they start picking and poking and prodding you. And then they ask you uh, your, about your birthday about 9,000 times. Okay? All this is just going swimmingly well. Your uh, uh, procedure time comes and goes, and there's no movement on the western front. Absolutely nothing. They've, they've got a, they're, uh, got a um, um, backlog of patients. Things are not working as they should. Um, people are not necessarily telling you what the, what the status is or when you're going to be rolled into the um, operating theater. None of this is working for you, okay? You're starting to get really worried. Your wife comes up to the room, tries to calm you down, but things aren't going well. Okay, so finally they roll you into the procedure. They put you under the narcotics, under the anesthesia. You wake up. Uh, you can't believe it happened so quickly. The uh, nurse comes in and says, the doctor will be in in about 10 minutes to tell you how the test went. So you're sitting there, laying there with your wife. 10 minutes comes and goes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Next thing you know, like, what the hell? Why, where's the doctor? What's he doing? Has, did he see something? Is there something I need to be concerned about? Is he getting a second opinion? All these things and more are spinning around in your head. Now, keep in mind, this is a typical hospital experience. Nothing's gone wrong. It's going as about as well as it can go. The wheels have not fallen off the wagon. This is when things go according to plan. But anyway, hopefully you can see that even a simple process, a procedure that occurs maybe dozens of times a day in a typical hospital is fraught with anxiety and worry and fear. So please keep that in mind as we go forward in this course. Hospitals are no fun. Nobody says, honey, let's grab the kids, go down to the hospital for some quality time. You're never going to hear that. So uh, let's move on, and thanks for your time and your attention.